Hello, SAC Enemy. I'm here with Ellen Stern and Richard Epcar. This Hi. beautiful couple. Hello. They're married, by the way, if you, if you didn't figure that out. I, I paid him to say that. Yes. Well, I paid him to say that. You paid him too? Yeah. yeah. Well, this guy's making out like a bandit, isn't he? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> <gasps> talk about your phone for 20 minutes. Oh my god, yes you can. Right. Okay, so, you guys are married? We are. We are. Yes. <laughs> 32 years we've been married. How about that? 32, can you believe it? I, I am 19. We lived, in, we lived in sin for two years before we got married. Oh, sure. Give him the dirt. <laughs> Give him all the dirt. Two years. Sin. Did you guys meet in this business, voice acting? Actually, my wife got me into this business, so I have her to blame for this whole thing. But she got me into an audition for a voice job, and uh, and uh, we both booked it, and uh, we we started doing it. And basically, from that job, we started working in all kinds of stuff, and then we got into Robotech, and then it just all took off, and we've been doing it nonstop ever since for almost 30 years. No, over, over. More than 30. Shh. Nobody's counting. <laughs> okay. Counting. One, two, three. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, next question. Yes. How did you guys get your start in acting? Carefully. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, See, it was, Richard is not careful. That is not true. You did not start carefully. You started... Unorganized and no, I, I'm just being silly. No, um, <laughs> um no, I, I started basically. I, I was, I'm one of the lucky ones. I always knew I was, I wanted to be an actor, I always knew I wanted to be in this business somehow. So, uh, I, uh, I went to college and I, I was actually lucky I got a full drama scholarship. And uh, I did a lot of plays and that sort of thing. And I came out to L.A. with every intention of just being a, an on-camera actor. And uh, I kind of got uh, sidetracked into the voice business. And I'm really glad I did. And I, I've been doing that for a long time and uh, doing uh, voice acting and directing. And, uh, you know, I still do uh, uh, on-camera stuff as well occasionally. But not as much. This, this stuff has seemed to be a lot more demand for. So it's turned out to be a, a really good thing. And you, young lady? Oh, that was such a nice story. Um, not, no, I'm still open. Eyes wide open. Um, I started when I was 12 years old, and I started doing stage. And um, uh, one of my first plays was Peter Pan with Vincent Price and Janet Blair. Vincent Price played uh, Captain Hook. And I was one of the forest animals. I was, um, I, I was a plushie. <laughs> um, but from there, my my first, my first, oh, stop that, <laughs> Joey. Then I started my my first film came at eighteen, and uh, I did a movie with David Jansen. And uh, anyhow, I did a lot of films. He was the fugitive. See, I rest my case. Okay, he was. Have you heard of the fugitive? He was the original fugitive. Anyhow, um, so that was the beginning. And I did Charlie's Angels and Marcus Welby and General Hospital and Santa Barbara and Santa Barbara in Days of Our Lives. All soaps and Santa Robber. Um, it was a sequel to Santa Barbara. Anyhow, I d I've done a lot of TV and a lot of films, but then. As I, I was, I was doing the lead in this film, and uh, the casting director said to me, "Would you like to do some voice work?" And I said, "Yeah." And it was for an audition, so I said, "Can I bring my boyfriend?" So we both got the leads, and and uh, and and then it snowballed in the voice business, and we were actually doing voice work before Robotech, but Robotech was the first big show to come along that we got cast in, but we were doing voice work before. We, we actually did, we worked on a lot of, uh, of uh, these movies from like 
I want to say Thailand. Is that yeah, where they're Thailand? Thailand? And they were like very, very violent, like uh, martial arts kinds of movies. We called them Chopsakis. Yeah, they were like Chopsaki movies. And b but the cool thing about those movies was that it really trained us to do great efforts and that sort of thing because for some reason a lot of the the new actors that are coming along now have a real hard time doing the efforts and exertions and reactions and to us it, it's like second nature because we cut our teeth on these old uh, you know martial artist movies so it was kind of fun uh, doing all that stuff and as a woman as a woman doing all the chop sake movies what that meant was you died a lot I died so many times in one movie. And what that meant was you screamed a lot and did a lot of efforts. Because I died a lot. Yeah. You were a great dyer, honey. And crier. I'm, I, She's a dyer and a crier. And, and one of my claims to fame... But not a liar. No, I'm not a liar. Never, never will I lie. I hate lying. Um, one of my claims to fame was like on camera, if there was an emotional scene, I can cry in like five seconds. And so, Believe me, I know. on cue, on cue. But I'm not a liar. So when I cry, it's not a lie. I'm really crying. So, so I, when I would always get asked to do the emotional scenes, which I loved. <coughs> All right, shall we, shall we go on with the next uh, yeah, question? Do you have any questions? Uh, I have one more question. <laughs> oh, I can't see now. Okay, um, here's the last one. Memorized. Yeah, well, I don't, sorry. Um, what drives you to keep going on in this business? Oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, what drives me to go up the... You need to show up. Besides, uh, thank you, honey. It's my wife, ladies and gentlemen. Um, beside, thank you, thank you. No, you got to start out slow. Do the one, then everybody joins in. Um, you believe in fairies. You know what? We're we are really lucky. That's all I have to say. We're we're very blessed and very lucky because we get to play and get paid for it, and uh, it's really fun. And I I love uh, I love being an actor or voice actor director because I have a lot of fun doing it and there's very few people in the world that can say they they really love their job and really look forward to going to work and and we're we're able to do that for the most part I mean there's there's some some tough times and some some games and stuff where you're just screaming your ass off for hours and hours and those are not fun but uh, for the most part you know going in and creating characters and playing and having a, having fun with your friends and it just it's a it's a wonderful life and uh, uh, you know I'm very thankful to be part of all this, so I, I really enjoy it. And you, Kimo Sabi? Kimo Sabi. Um, I love working. I love acting, whether it's on stage, on film, for television, or voice work, and directing, because Richard and I are both directors. I love working. I love crafting characters. I love the journey. Um, there is, a, when, <clears throat> when you do stage or television or film, you're doing characters that are seen. And so there's a lot of preparation. When you're doing voice work, you don't have the chance for preparation and you have to create things instantly because you're thrown into the booth and said, go, they say go. And so we have to just create characters on the spot. And it's challenging and it's fun. I love the craft. I'm a craftsman or craftswoman. All right then. Thank you, guys. I would say this, these guys are the best couple I ever met in my life. Oh, thank you. How much should we pay you? Not enough, apparently. I mean, <clears throat> well, anyways. <laughs> well, thank you. But don't you owe me something? Uh, no. <laughs> well, that was awkward. Yeah, you know, things happen. So, everybody, look up these guys. These guys are amazing. They, did, they did so much work. You'll okay. see here. Over Can I put jobs. in a shameless plug? You? That's so unlike you. Oh, he who talks. Um,
This is my new children's book that came out just a little bit ago. It's called It's Hard to Give a Butterfly a Hug, and I am the writer of it. And uh, these are some of the pictures inside. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. And I love it so much. And it may be hard to give a butterfly a hug, but it's not hard to give you a hug. That was so sweet. <laughs> well, OK. Everybody, buy that book right now. And Please. visit Amazon.org. Buy two. They're cheap. Visit Sack Anime's website for more interviews, and we'll see you guys later. We'll see you later.